As most people know who know him, actor-director George Clooney is a history buff. In that realm, for his latest film, he takes a particular incident from the 1936 Berlin Olympics and has created The Boys in the Boat in theaters since December 25th. Joe Edgerton is coach Al Obrickson, who mentors rowing crews for the University of Washington during the 1930s Depression. He leads a ragtag bunch of underdog rowers, including Joe Rance, Callum Turner, through techniques and timing that makes them one of the best collegiate rowing teams in the country. When the opportunity to qualify for the 1936 Olympics come about, this unexpected and one-of-a-kind team get the opportunity to go for the gold at an Olympics as hosted by Herr Adolf Hitler. Can good old American sportsmen save the day? As in previous films, Clooney's attention to historical detail is impressive, including the recreation of the 1936 games. There is also a nice cinematic eye in the film, as the shape of the boats and use of high-angle shots lead to an artistry in the races, which story-wise is very similar to most sports movies in which an underdog rises to the top. The biggest challenge that wasn't fulfilled was the feeling that beyond the settings, this didn't seem culturally like the 1930s. For example, well-fed young actors and pretty co-eds didn't seem like Depression-era people. Also, when Herr Hitler is finally depicted, the first reaction I had was to stifle a laugh. Damn you, Mel Brooks. And when Der Fuhrer walks away in a huff, I was reminded of the old Groucho Marx line, you can leave in a huff. Or you can leave in a minute and a huff. The boys in the boat, three and a half out of five, in theaters since December 25th.